female Marines soon will be required to perform pull UPS, just like male Marines do. As part of their annual physical fitness tests, the Marine Corps top general announced Tuesday. General Jim Bamis, the service's commandant, alerted Marines in a force-wide message that the change takes effect January 1, 2014. Officials will phase in the change throughout the coming year to accommodate what is expected to be a significant adjustment. A spokesman for the commandant declined to comment. However, the general's message makes clear that he expects this to be a success, and he has ordered all Marine units to add pull UPS training to their fitness programs during the coming year. Phase 1 Famous explains, will serve as a transition period, and is intended to allow commanders and individual female Marines to adjust training routines to prepare for implementation of the new requirements. Famous message does not indicate why the change is being implemented, but the Marine Corps has spent nearly two years evaluating the restrictions it places on women, with an eye toward breaking down long-standing barriers where possible. Within the last year, for instance, Officials have opened dozens of jobs in tank and artillery units, among others to female Marines which previously have been the province of men only. And although women are still prohibited from filling assignments whose primary mission is direct ground combat, officials made the historic move this past summer by enrolling two female Marines into the Corps Infantry Officer course. Both ultimately washed out, and so far no volunteers have stepped forward for the course's next iteration this winter. The physical fitness test is one of two strength and endurance evaluations all personnel must pass each year. The other, called the combat fitness test, features a host of drills Marines would be expected to perform on the battlefield. As part of the physical fitness test, all Marines do sit UPS and conduct a timed three-mile run. Additionally, men have been required to do full UPS while women, viewed institutionally as having less inherent upper body strength have been required to perform what's called the flexed arm hang, hoisting themselves over the pull-up bar and holding the position for up to 70 seconds. Marines are rated based on their overall performance on each section of the test, with 300 making a perfect score. During the coming year, as the service adjusts to the change, female Marines will have the option of doing pull UPS or the flexed arm hang during their test, according to Amos' message. But come 2014, they will be required to do at least three pull UPS to pass the physical fitness test, with eight needed for a perfect score on that portion of the test. Men must do three pull UPS to pass the test, with 20 required for a perfect score. As Marine Corps Times reported last year senior officials have debated this idea for a while. In June 2011, after initial research at 12 installations across the Corps, the service's physical readiness officer produced a detailed position paper calling for the test's upper body portion to be amended. That study of 318 female Marines found that, on average, they could perform 1.63 pull UPS. More than 21% performed at least 3, and 37% performed at least 3 went lower body movement, a band practice frequently known as KIT was allowed. The discussion was scuttled late last year with no indication it would be resumed. It's not immediately clear why the Corps has changed course now.